Ever wondered why your eyes change color? No, it's not magic, it's science. Let's unravel this mystery together. You see, the color of your eyes isn't fixed. It's a dynamic characteristic that can shift over time due to several fascinating factors. At the core of this phenomenon is your eye's iris. This is the colorful part of your eye, but what gives it its color? It's the result of two crucial components, the pigments present in your iris and the way your iris scatters light that passes through it. This process is similar to why we perceive the sky as blue or the ocean as green. Interestingly, the amount and type of pigments in your iris, along with how the light scatters, can change. This leads to the captivating phenomenon of your eyes seemingly changing their color. Intriguing, isn't it? Now let's dive into the fascinating factors that can make your eye color change. First, age. Yes, you heard it right. Age can change the color of your eyes. Now, you might be wondering how exactly this happens. Well, it all comes down to a pigment called melanin. Melanin is the same stuff that gives your skin, hair and eyes their color. It's produced by cells known as melanocytes. As we journey through life, our melanin levels can fluctuate. This fluctuation is a natural part of the aging process. You see, melanin doesn't stay constant. It can increase or decrease as we age. When melanin levels increase, our eyes might appear to darken and when they decrease, eyes might seem to lighten. Now you're probably thinking, but I've been the same age for a whole year and my eyes haven't changed color. Well, these changes are usually gradual and may not be noticeable on a day-to-day -day basis. However, over the years, these subtle shifts can add up, leading to perceptible changes in eye color. Interestingly, this natural phenomenon is most noticeable in babies and young children. Have you ever wondered why a baby's eyes might change color as they grow? Well, it's because their eyes are still developing and their melanin production isn't yet stable. This is why a child born with blue eyes might have green or brown eyes by the time they start school. But it's not just children. Even in adults, as we grow older, our eyes can show the effects of age-related changes in melanin levels. It's a fascinating reminder of the beautiful and complex ways in which our bodies adapt and change over time. So the next time you look in the mirror and notice your eyes have changed color, remember, it could just be a sign of growing older. It's a testament to the remarkable journey your body is on, a journey that's reflected in the depths of your eyes, the windows to your soul. Next up is mood. Believe it or not, your emotional state can actually influence the color of your eyes. Now, you might be thinking, oh, come on, that sounds like a line from a sappy romance novel. But hear us out. The connection between mood and eye color has less to do with magic and more to do with science. Specifically, it boils down to the muscles in your iris and how they react to various emotions. You see, just as your heart rate increases when you're excited, your iris, the colored part of your eye, contracts or expands in response to your emotional state. When we're happy or excited, our pupils tend to dilate making the iris contract and thus appear a bit darker. On the other hand, when we're sad or bored, our pupils constrict, causing the iris to expand and lighten in color. It's a subtle shift, but one that those with a keen eye might spot. Don't get too carried away though. We're not talking about a drastic change like your eyes going from blue to brown when you're angry. Rather, it's a slight variation in shade that might make your blue eyes seem stormier or your brown eyes more golden. It's a fascinating phenomenon that highlights the intricacy of our body's responses to emotions. It's also worth noting that this isn't just a human trait. Many animals, especially those that rely heavily on their vision, exhibit similar changes in their eyes. For instance, certain types of owls have been observed to have darker eyes when they're on the hunt, likely due to the excitement of the chase. So, while the change isn't drastic, it's still a testament to the incredible adaptability and responsiveness of our bodies. It's a reminder that our emotions are not just internal experiences, but physical ones as well, capable of subtly shifting our appearance in ways we might not even realize. So the next time someone tells you they can see happiness, sadness, or anger in your eyes, they might just be onto something. Last but not least, sunlight. Your eyes respond to the sun just like your skin does. Now, we all know that our skin can darken or lighten depending on how much sun exposure it gets. This is due to a pigment in our skin called melanin, which is produced more when we are in the sun. But did you know that this same process can also affect the color of your eyes? That's right. The iris, which is the colored part of your eye, also contains melanin. This means that the amount of sunlight your eyes are exposed to can actually change the color of your eyes, at least temporarily. Let's dive into how this works. 
When the sunlight hits your eyes, it stimulates the production of melanin in the irises. Just like your skin, the more melanin, the darker the color. So, if you've spent a lot of time in the sun, you might notice that your eyes look a bit darker. This is because the increased sunlight has led to an increase in melanin production in the iris, causing it to darken. And it's not just about getting darker. The effect can also go the other way. In the colder months, when there's less sunlight, your eyes might appear lighter. This is because the lack of sunlight leads to less melanin production, which can cause the iris to lighten. So, you see, the color of your eyes isn't just determined by your genetics. There are other factors at play, including sunlight, that can cause your eyes to change color. And this is why some people's eyes appear lighter or darker in different seasons. But remember, just like with your skin, too much sun exposure can be harmful to your eyes. So always protect your eyes when you're out in the sun, whether that's with sunglasses, a hat, or just by seeking shade. So if you've ever wondered why your eyes look a different color in your summer holiday photos, now you know why. So there you have it, age, mood, and sunlight. Three astonishing factors that can change your eye color. Let's quickly jog through the core points. We learned that as we age, the eye color we were born with may gradually shift. This is due to the continual production of pigment in our eyes. We also discovered that our mood can influence the perception of our eye color. It's fascinating how emotions can affect our physical features, isn't it? Lastly, we delved into how sunlight can prompt changes in our eye color. Exposure to sunlight can stimulate the production of melanin, the pigment that determines our eye color, thereby leading to a color change. It's important to remember that changes in eye color are a natural process. They're influenced by various factors and are part of the fascinating science of our bodies. So, next time you catch a glimpse of your reflection, take a moment to appreciate the science behind the color of your eyes.